stick with the plan, stick with your system, keep going, be disciplined. You know that you'll come out of it or you know that you've had some amazing weeks up until now. Just carry on. It's that discipline, that consistency um, that I found people lack and is that I think is the most important part of um, teaching anyone about the Forex markets. So what does your average day look like then? Because you said that obviously you're, you can trade different time frames uh, depending on what your lifestyle is. Yeah, so um, because I started 364FX, um, I've got private clients which I teach one-to-one basis. All, all my clients I teach um, on like, for example, Zoom or Skype um one to two hour lessons a day so now my trading is primarily early in the morning so i'll get to the charts let's say anything from uh six to seven in the morning and by about nine ten o'clock in the morning i'm done for the day so i look at time frames roughly one hour time frames 30 minute time frames sometimes i look at the 15 minute but it's mainly the one hour 30 minute i look And I try to get that London open in the morning. That is where I'll find um, a lot of the volatility and I'll get that push, that momentum I need for the day to accelerate um, my trades. Mm. And then the rest of the day is in, you know, teaching clients, um, doing stuff in my in my community chat. You know, if there's any any stuff the clients want uh, document wise, I get them all ready and that sort of stuff. So yeah, my trading is now day trading, early morning, uh, three to four hours in the morning, and I'm set for the day, really. I don't swing trade. I don't really like holding overnight, over weekends. I used to, but now I just like to take my one to two trades in the morning and and I'm done. Yeah, nice. So do you trade um, just Forex or do you trade anything else? No, just Forex um just trade some of the majors yeah um i've got about five or six pairs i look at and then i'll look at um some of the pairs that the clients throw in um that they're looking at so obviously i'll look at them pairs as well just to help them out and give them my opinion and, and coaching on on what they're seeing as well um no it's all all forex don't look at any, no cryptos no stocks nothing like that really right yeah so do you have any, what's like your long-term goals or vision for 364FX? So my long-term goals, I want to, so I've got a few clients in there at the moment, which um, are pretty much near the end of their um, their mentorship. They're doing really well and they're actually taking tests with um, FTMO right. to become funded traders. So they've literally just started um, their tests for them. So what I'm planning on doing is once they pass or anyone in my program passes, ideally what I want to do is grow it and make them mentors as well. So then they can either help me with the business to grow it um, or if they want to go on to do other stuff like have their own um mentorship programs if they want to open you know their own companies so i just want to kind of build 364fx to a level where i've got clients coming in and potentially they've got option of being mentored by a group of people and not just myself and i've got a lot of um willing clients at the moment that are really looking forward to getting on that sort of a journey and that sort of a level Mm. Um, and these are people that have come from not understanding how to trade how to place a trade to now taking something like an ftmo test and potentially becoming mentors themselves as well well that's really good 
Um, so what have you found um, from your mentoring makes a profitable trader? Consistency. Um, consistency and discipline. I, I can't stress how important it is to not only have a system that works, but one that's tested by whoever's going to trade it. Um, a lot of people take these systems and they don't test them. They don't see if they work. But then when they get them, they're not consistent with them. They don't let it run through the motions. They don't take the, the same set up day in day out and they'll jump from one thing to another now i was a culprit for this i used to do this all the time i had what they call shiny object syndrome i was always looking for uh this system that system what can make me more money what had a higher win percentage all this type of stuff and i was jeopardizing my trading why because i was never consistent and i was never disciplined so now teaching that is one of the things i really drum into people is when they're having a bad day or bad week which you're gonna get you're not always going to be profitable every day every week me being there giving them that boost to say listen stick with the plan stick with your system keep going be disciplined you know that you'll come out of it or you know that you've had some amazing weeks up until now just carry on it's that discipline that consistency um that i found people lack and is that i think is the most important part of um teaching anyone about the forex markets